kind of like a backyard baseball team um, when my buddy's uncle decided to just get us off the streets and uh, introduced us to baseball because really nobody ever really played and uh, after that just kind of went into Little League and this and that and um, went into, uh, I was able to make my high school uh, JV uh, roster my, uh, my freshman year, the last one on the roster there and uh, just kind of kept going just thinking you know I'm gonna try to get to uh, try to get through school with baseball you know kind of uh, helped me out a little bit and uh, was able to uh, get a scholarship to go to college you know that last one that was offered another one you know so just kind of a blessing you know went to college um, and then things turned around from there I went from a uh, guy that was throwing about 88 in high school to 95 with 97 so we just kind of things turned, turned around um, I got ended. I ended up getting drafted by the Angels in the 18th round in 2003, and uh, I've been part of baseball for uh, 10 years now. I think this is my 11th uh, professional baseball year. So I used to play. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, started off playing second base, and then uh, little by little, I got a little too big. Shifted over to third. wasn't big Wasn't big on the the hot spot there. Went over, shifted over to uh, first base, and first base a little easier. Um, but college, I mean, college was the one, you know, it's like you're either going to be a hitter and you're either going to hit home runs, which I never did, or you're just going to get off, off the mound. And that's what it just kind of stuck to that. You know, college is one of those points. It's like either, either or. And you just kind of took it from there. Every year, there's, there's so much to learn. You know, it, it changes. Baseball has changed so much, even for me in the last 10 years. You know, it's just... Every year, just gonna take something different from somebody you know that's trying to help you. And uh, but I mean, it, there's been many coaches that have you know that I've been able to uh, be part of, um, teammates, um, and um, it's just one of those things that you just kind of you take you take as much as you can, you know, kind of try to work it into you uh, to how you are, how you. Um, how you are as a player, how you are as a, guy, as a you know just a regular person, and just try to get better every day. I'm not I'm that guy that you know uh, come in after after the year you know and uh, the last what you do you know be like I actually sat at home you know kind of just I'm a family guy you know if that's what it is. Um, we'll go out fishing maybe once. We'll go bowling maybe twice. Um, some movies you know, but I mean other than that I mean it's just you know every weekend I'm probably either at my wife's uh, parents house or at my parents house you know just hanging out with a family just one of those things you know just kind of uh, really chill but you know we'll end up doing a few little things here and there but not not a big uh, hobby guy the biggest thing you know as a pitcher it's just the fact that uh, the the room inside the glove is just um, you know you're able to move your hand around move your uh, change your pitches um, it gives you that uh, protection that you need from Third base, uh, third base coaches, hitters, you know, to get that little edge. Um, you know, it's got a great padding. You know, the leather itself is just um, one of those things that, you know, everybody looks for and being able to break it in quick, but at the same time, it doesn't get the, the floppy, you know, kind of the old look kind of leather. You know, it's the color, it's just nice and rich. And, um, you know, just the biggest thing was the fit, you know, the really of uh, being able to put it in your hand, you know, make it, um, fits your hand fairly fairly easy other than having to really break it in and do so much to it you know it's one of those gloves that you can actually put on as soon as you get it out of the box take it out to the field do a few little things to it you know this and that and you know it'll it's gonna work for you oh I'm a, no, just regular uh, hard throwing guys try to look for one uh, go out and play catch with him you know just the only thing I do, I try to keep it open a little bit here and there, but just, I mean, the only thing I ever do is tug on this thumb here and just try to, uh, you know, just the fist or the ball. And you guys gave me one of those uh, mid mallets. Mid mallets, <laughs> yeah. So I kind of beat on it a little bit, but I mean, it took, let me see if I can remember, probably about three days, I think it was, after I was able to actually really work with it you know get a feel for the, that that ground ball or that that ball that actually sticks in there so it didn't take too long one of those gloves that it's it makes it really comfortable for, comfortable for you to be out there it's one of those gloves that you're going to be able to uh, take your pitches off the uh, stretch or the wind up and you're not going to be worried about 
anything else just because you're gonna have that protection you know it, the, the fingers are close the the depth of it you know it's it's great fielding glove you know and it's just uh, it's a well-made product so really uh, proud to be part of a BL team.